What is an idiom? Idiom is the technical term for a saying or phrase, and they are everywhere. We use them all the time in language, so where do idioms come from? Well, we have this awesome thing in modern society called Google, which I think we forget how awesome it is, as it's basically an index of all the information so far gathered by humanity, and can answer literally any question you can think to ask it. After a quick search, I actually discovered that it's impossible for me to go on the internet without getting distracted. Nevertheless, I persisted, and then actually searched for what I was looking for. And it's quite interesting. Idioms often derive from phrases that had a literal meaning, and it's unlikely that every phrase would have necessarily been taken literally at any point. The end of relationships would certainly be a lot more traumatic if people actually broke your heart. But not all idioms would be harmful when taken literally, some would just be very strange. I've just got to take a rain check. And some would just get very annoying. You can say that again. And some would just get very annoying. You can say that again. And some would just get very annoying. You can say that again. <laughs> As you can see, that character just died, which brings us on to death. There are many idioms that describe death, and I thought it would be interesting to explore the variations on all of these phrases that ultimately try to define the same thing. For example, you might bite the dust, kick the bucket, pop your clogs, or sleep with the fishes. Although interestingly, you can perform all of these activities without actually sustaining any injuries. However, as we established, idioms are not really meant to be taken literally, and in fact most are effective because they are figurative and create an allegory to represent an abstract concept. Which naturally leads me to the question Question, do figurative idioms always work? Not necessarily. In certain situations you may try to use them as intended, but accidentally achieve the exact opposite. Making unwanted sexual advances towards another individual is not only completely inappropriate and unacceptable, but also not made better by saying, I was just trying to stay abreast of the situation. Likewise, if you're being held up at gunpoint and your response to the gunman's demands is over my dead body, the situation may not turn out too well. <coughs> Lastly, telling an amputee who's about to travel the world, I'd give my right arm to be in your position might not be the best move, and they may just take you up on it. Which leads me to thinking, what if idioms were reversed? Don't crawl before you can walk, run before you can sit. Instead of holding your horses, why not let go of your ponies? Keep your head above water? Drop somebody's body below fire. This is perfect advice. Uh, sorry, I mean flawed misinformation. See you next time.